email is a personalized template. We took template, replace custom fields with real dat data, and add some unique identifiers uh, to track opens and clicks. The schema is next. We get data from database. Uh, data, I mean uh, email templates and uh, recipient's data. Then uh, put it together and send to the MTA. MTA is a message transfer agent or simply SMTP server. In our schema, this is a postfix and the uh, e email creation was done by action mailer. Uh, as we grow, we send more and more emails and the uh, customer satisfa satisfaction drops down. Bec we became slower and slower and uh, it's not suitable for our business. So the max throughput of this system was uh, 80,000 emails per hour. And the business decided to uh, replace current system with fastest one, but uh, in, the business, uh, in the business way. They propose homemade Java tool and a proprietary message transfer agent. Actually, MTA was really good and the Java tool was really bad. So we performed changes and the problem is the new solution, Java tool, became pain in the neck and then in the ass. It was the road to hell because it was pretty shitty coded so it can't scale because it's unable to scale because it kills, kills database. It was Java and it was hard to support. So uh, we decided to re-implement this solution and uh, yeah, those solution doesn't scale. Uh, and business needs stability. It needs a reliable technical solution to be focused on doing business. So we collect requirements and uh, the most wanted requirement was throughput about one million emails per hour. Then business wants a horizontal scaling to be able to grow f more and more. And uh, also ability to handle peak loads and uh, be durable. So as we are a Ruby company, we, ch we choose uh, Ruby Enterprise Edition. Because uh, it was uh, 2010, 1.9.2 was unreleased. So we choose 1.8.6 Enterprise Edition. As uh, you all know, Ruby has no true parallelism. So to achieve parallelism, we use forks, forks of application processes. Then uh, we, uh, to handle peak load, we uh, create solution using uh, queues. So we choose RabbitMQ, uh, and uh, two clients was used, Bunny and IMQP. Bunny is uh, more reliable, but it's synchronous, and IMQP is uh, more fast, but uh, it's asynchronous, asynchronous and based on event machine, and uh, we use some tricks to do with IMQP jam. So the schema of our queuing uh, looks next. We have tasks queue, and uh, then we extract tasks into recipients. So tasks, it's a package of recipients. So when some guy sent an uh, email campaign, for example, for 100,000 emails, we d divide this campaign for five tasks which, uh, with uh, 2,000 uh, recipients in each task. So first uh, queue consists of tasks, then we extract them using polar demons, and we got recipients in next queue. And then in the end, sender demons uh, send recipients to MTA. So then we start thinking about statistics. One email produce uh, two updates. One million email produce two million updates. So it definitely kills our database. So we decide to use aggregated counter, aggregate counters. We uh, create compose key. Uh, using email campaign ID and email queue ID. We aggregate this counter, and then uh, updater daemon extract this key and uh, perform SQL updates. It uh, reduced count of updates in uh, 250 times. To cache these counters, we choose Tokyo Tyrant as key value storage. Then we start coding. Actually, this was the simplest part. It took two weeks of pair programming. And then was the most interesting part of this work. 
we start preparing test experiment. We uh, create set of uh, benchmark set set of scripts to test uh, throughput and uh, test high load. Uh, the most important part it's a represent, uh, representativeness of your test data. So you should choose representative data of your real system to have representative test results. The simplest way it's a uh, average email length. It's a uh, 30 kilobytes. But when we perform clustering of email lens, we have got next results that in the circles area represents frequency of email. So 30 kilobytes and 60 kilobytes are the most frequent uh, email sizes in our system. So 30 kilobytes is not representative data, data. So we select 60 kilobytes data and run our test suite and we fail. Fail throughput, we doesn't meet required throughput and we can't handle peak load. The problem was next. Tokyo Tirant fails under uh, concurrent key updates, and the uh, RabbitMQ fails uh, when uh, we put uh, 500,000 messages in the queue. The solution was next. We replaced Tokyo Tirant with Redis and uh, limit IMQP queue. Uh, no, 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 not IMQP. We limit queue to 300,000 messages. And uh, we pass our... Uh, high load testing, but we still uh, doesn't meet required throughput. So we start optimizing code. The general, general thing is not create uh, unnecessary objects. So less objects, less garbage collectors work, so on. You all know this. Then we measure our optimization and uh, we have two and a half times faster code than we got before but it still doesn't uh, help us. And in this case, you can think that it's not possible to create solution that you need, but you still, uh, you should believe. You should believe in success of your project. And you should go to the end of the tunnel and you should see the light at the end. We start thinking more and found that uh, the slow part is SMTP because you send mail from and wait for response. You send uh, recipient to and wait for response. So we dig deeper and found that our proprietary SMTP server has internal protocol. And it, uh, it requires only send uh, email as a C structure to the socket. We implement a native extension using libffi. And uh, our tests uh, show that this solution, uh, five, 10 times faster than, than SMTP. We run our test suite and we pass it. And then we uh, plan, plan our la launching in production. So first is delivery plan. Then uh, we plan switching, how we will switch our current system to a new system. And then we define what, what uh, stuff we will monitor. We, we choose parallel deployment schema. So we got uh, run old system and new system. And uh, they, they have the similar interfaces. And we step by step start uh, switching to the new system. First of all, we start uh, switching s some, we start doing black hole sending. We got real data and uh, send them to dev null. So we just test our system on real data. Then we start switching uh, groups of our customers. And when all goes down, goes good, we uh, did a full switch. But then we start receiving issues. We start seeing broken emails. The scene was, was simple. Some email providers repack our emails and uh, cut dots from, image, from a URL. So it broke links and it broke uh, images. And the, the, the issue was the email provider site, and we can influence them, we can fix that. So uh, the only thing we can do is uh, to back to the slow SMTP. We find that bottleneck is the CPU, so the simple thing is optimize more, but at the time we try all things, all tricks, 
maybe not all, but most of available tricks. And here we stop and change point of view. If we need more CPU and we have a lot of RAM on our server, we can change servers to have more CPU and less RAM. And we passed, this te passed the test while the price was, was the same. So we switched to a new system and start monitoring. We use Scout. Uh, we use also as a standard plugins as uh, our uh, home Railsware made plugins. More you can check out at our Railsware GitHub account. And uh, also we did some homemade tool to real time mon monitoring. So I have a nice widget on dashboard when I uh, in real time can see a load of our current system. And as a summary, it took ten, eight weeks to implement this system. Our hosting schema looks next. We have three quad core servers for message transfer agent and uh, two quad core servers for our email, email handling system. Our email handling system consists of each server consists of RabbitMQ, Redis, and 17 Ruby demons. Distribution of email sending was, uh, was next. Peak load was a Tuesday and Thursday. And as you see, it's about 5 million per day. So, as a result of uh, this work, we sent 1 billion emails in 2010. And that's all. So, if, if any questions, uh, I think it should be in, in private or in, on the after party. Thank you.